Hey, welcome back to our channel today. We are going to do a review, well, more of an overview on this guy behind me here. It's the Ignator uh, Rebel 30 Mark II. Uh, just gonna kind of show you the front panel here. Um, maybe the back panel if I'm really feeling it, but um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, so I'm gonna leave it on its, on its little shelf there. Um, but first, Let's go about what's new in the studio. There's not a ton new. Um, being the first of the year, we haven't done a ton. You know, we had a whole week off um, between Christmas and New Year's where we just didn't really do much. Uh, wasn't much for us to do. That we, or Actually, we just kind of wanted to take a time off, so that's why. But we did get a new bass amp. We did get some new headphones that we're gonna do reviews on. Um, and we, oh, we got an Apollo Arrow. I think they're now called the Apollo Solo. Um, that I want to do a little review on. Um, that's for our mobile rig. We'll probably go through, do a video of our mobile rig here soon. But uh, those are kind of the things that are new in the studio. Um, we got some new videos that are coming out. We just posted a video, uh, if you haven't seen it, that's kind of like first of the year, like, hey, 2022, 2023 type stuff. Um, check it out. Uh, it's a pretty decent video. Um, trying to think i think that's all that's new for the year uh but go check out our other videos um and hit the like and subscribe buttons um and the bell for notifications uh so today back to our ignator i'm gonna scoot back here a oh, i can't anyways we got ignator here it's uh this is just the head um it's an ignator rebel 30 it's got a volume actually it's got two channels first of all it's got input but it's got two channels um, and it ch you can use a foot switch to change your channels or you can press the little channel button on the front here. Um, it's got some uh, sw uh, toggle switches for tight and bright. Um, bright just makes your signal brighter, that's all it does. Tight, I haven't completely figured out. I don't have the manual for this, but what I can tell is there's maybe a slight bit of compression that's happening. I'm not entirely sure, but it's something along those lines. And that's for each channel. Each channel has those same controls. Uh, so channel one is clean. We'll call it channel one. They just call it clean, but channel one is clean. It's uh, got a volume. It's got bass and it's got treble, and that's about it. And it is. It's it's very clean. It's um, since it's being all tube, it's it's very um, very Fender s clean. Um, I don't remember the tubes that are in this, but I know it has two two different power tubes in it, and I'll go over that in a minute. It's kind of exciting stuff. But anyways, and then you've got channel two, which is overdrive, which also has the tight and bright switches. But it's got gain, it's got a little more control for your overdrive. You've got a gain, a bass, a middle, and a treble, and a, and then like an output volume. Like this is your master. So you can hit drive real hard and then kind of back off the volume that you need. Um, and then it's got these two, but these two little knobs at the end here, which I don't know if you can see, I'll point to them here a little bit. But as you can see here, there's um, basically this drive, this whole amp can be used without a cabinet. It's got an XLR output on the back of it and line out. And this kind of is like an attenuator. Um, I don't know why you would need the attenuator. I've only noticed it with, um, with the XLR output. I did not notice it with the cabinet. I have the matching cab, it's down here on the floor. It's nothing really special. It's a closed cabinet. I think it's got 112. It's a 112 with a Celestian in it, I think. And I'm not sure what the Celestian is. I think they're greenbacks. I, I don't remember. But anyways, it's a 16 ohm cabinet. Anyways, um, this is kind of a, an attempt, like a, a basically a wattage. You can variable the wattage from one to 30. So you can make it super loud or a little quieter. Um, that's kind of, I haven't noticed a ton in the volume changes in them, but it does happen. And and there's one for each channel. So like, if you're using just the clean channel, you had a bunch of pedals. Um, I usually just go straight into these guys and use the overdrives in them. Anyways, um, and at the very end, after all of that, there's a tube mix. And this is where I was talking about that, uh, basically having two power tubes in it. It's got an EL84 power tube and a 6V6 power tube, and you can use this tube mix to take your power and kind of blend, but you gotta blend between the two, which is kind of where I've been sitting lately, but you can use the EL84 to do a more, um, what's the word, um, more of a British sound. And then the 6V6 is supposed to be more kind of American sound, and you can mix between the two, so you want a little more British, but still 
a little more. It's almost kind of like mixing two amps together. Um, it's kind of the closest I can come to the way it sounds. Uh, but it's great. I do enjoy it. I have it set to noon, so I'm getting kind of both of each section. Um, but then it's got the, a toggle switch here that you'd think would be like the on off, but it's actually just the standby switch because the on switch is actually on the back of the cab, back of the head where the power comes into the cabinet. But anyways, you've got, you've got standby, which is in the center, and then you've got silent record and play. And silent record is great. You flip to that and it'll only send signal out the XLR jack out the line out on the back of it. So like lately I haven't been using the cabinet, I've just been using the silent record um, because I can turn it up and down in the computer. If I wanna play quietly, I can still use my head and kids can sleep or watch TV while I mess around with guitar tones and headphones. Or I can go to play and the play function is if I were to go play a gig somewhere and I had the cabinet with me and it, that usually, that engages the cabinet. I have not figured out if it'll engage both, whether, from what I can tell when you go to silent, it's, it is, it's like no cabinet, just line out. Um, but uh, the back of it is kind of neat because um, it's got a lot of different options. Like if you have a 16, it has a, I wouldn't say a variable, but it's got three different selections for homage on the back, which is not the correct term. But for the ohms coming to your cabinet, so if you had like, cabinet that I have matched with it right now is an Eggnator 16 ohm cabinet but if I had an 8 ohm cabinet or a 4 ohm cabinet I could still use this head with it because I have a little selector on there um, right now I think it's set to 16 because that's what the cabinet is um, it is a 30 watt tube amp so it does get quite loud um, it has a nice low end to it when I use the cabinet I've noticed nice nice uh, good low end um, but also has great overdrive and stuff because you're overdriving tubes um, we have pretty much everything here is tube except for our base amp. Um, but it does have reverb. The reverb's on the back of this cabinet and I would turn it around. Um, but basically there's not much to it. It's just reverb and drive. And you can add a little overdrive to your reverb if you want a little crunchier reverb. But um, that's about it. Um, to control um, the amplifier, it does have a foot switch, which I bought uh, live wire solutions uh it's just a generic um foot switch but i can turn the reverb on and off i can select channels it's all i wanted it for um but that's kind of an overview of this amp um i might do some videos here coming up of tones of our different amps like this is what the fender sounds like this is what the vox sounds like this is what the ignator sounds like on various tube selections um so uh thank you for watching, uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, like I said earlier, um, hit that notification bell, it'll let you know anytime we have a new video, and we will see you on into this coming year of 2023. Thank you, and have a fantastic week. We'll see you next time.